Also on Thursday night at 7 over on flowhoops.com, it will be Delaware on the road to take on Elon. A great matchup, Bill, as both these teams are two of the hottest teams in the league right now. They sure are, and someone's winning streak is going to come to an end on Thursday mm -hmm. night as Delaware brings its six-game winning streak to the Shard Center, where Elon is also on a three-game winning streak. You know, the Blue Hens have been getting contributions across its starting lineup as its depth presents matchup problems. If you want to take away Dylan Painter and Justin Mutz down low, then Kevin Anderson, Ryan Allen, and Nate Darling can win games on the perimeter or by breaking down defenses. And of course, the opposite applies mm -hmm. if you try and take away Delaware's trio of guards. Darling is third in the CA with nearly 21 points per game, and as we mentioned, he shared co-player of the week honors with Marcus Sheffield II. Sheffield is the veteran on a youth-laden Elon team, and with just over 18 points per game, he is seventh in the CA in scoring. Meanwhile, three freshmen have taken CA Rookie of the Week accolades this year in Hunter McIntosh, Hunter Woods, and Zach Irvin. McIntosh and Woods are two of three freshmen to rank in the top 30 of the CA in scoring, each averaging over 10 points per game. And the Phoenix are going to let it fly from three-point range, ranking sixth in the CA with over 700 three-pointers attempted. And if you remember back on January 18th, these teams played a classic in Newark as Jacob Cushing's three-pointer with five seconds to play lifted Delaware to a dramatic 79-78 win over the Phoenix, and we could see another great one between yep. these two teams.